I get one thing out of the way first. I'm sure like 95% of people didn't even know the video I'm talking about today even existed, but for the past couple of months, I've been asked by folks who did know about it on why I removed it. After I received the latest inquiry about it, and by latest I mean like a month ago, I need to address it publicly. And I believe the reasoning is uh, quite interesting enough for it to be a video and what I might do to rectify it later. It's nothing super complicated or anything. Short answer is I no longer agree with that video. Now it was titled something like how to play zero without guard shell glitch. I'll preface by saying that my opinion on guard shell glitch and my general distaste for it never changed. It was just everything else in that video. <laughs> From statements of me claiming Saber Dash Cancel, SDC for short, was the go-to technique to use in the glitch's place. Mm hmm. Using an exploit to replace another exploit. Yeah, nice logic there, 2018 Magnus. To me, just being incredibly vague about Zero's kit and not expounding upon each technique more. Considering X6 is like the most broken iteration of him in the series, even without the exploits, and not counting the Zero series. It could have been a much better tech guide than what was produced. I could attribute it to me being a novice at making guides at the time, but that's no excuse. I made a bad video, so I'll own up to that. If you don't know what the guard shell glitch is, just let this clip speak for itself. Yeah, that ain't supposed to work like that. As someone who personally values using a character's kit as intended, justifying cheesing bosses just because the game's design is flawed is no excuse to me. But let me be real loud about this and reiterate, because my statements are always misunderstood and taken out of context to vilify me. I'm not saying anyone's wrong for using this glitch. I personally don't like it. This is my opinion, and I'm not going to unironically say that I have the right opinion, because that's egotistical as hell, and egoists have zero respect for me. Oh shit, I hate unintentional puns. I'll get more into that later, because you'll want to stick around until the end before leaving your angry comment. I know full well that making this video will ruffle some folks jammies given the controversial nature of this one fucking game. And apparently it's a sin for people to have different opinions from the popular opinion nowadays and echo chambers are the way to go. So yeah, time for those specifics. I mentioned earlier how I didn't expound upon the arsenal itself that well in the original video. Look, I don't care what your opinion about X6 is, and frankly this isn't the video to express that, so I'll kindly request that you reserve that for now. This isn't a review video, so discussions like that are irrelevant. I may as well consider myself a teacher of advanced tech these days, because bad game or no, it's my job to explain tech accurately in a digestible manner to where you can come out learning something you can apply to your own gameplay. From my perspective on that video, I did my job incredibly poor, and no amount of excuses will change that fact. It was also inconsistent with how I personally view advanced tech in these games. I have been one of the biggest antagonists towards the Saber Dash Cancel technique for the Challenge Run gameplay, as it's quite literally a similar exploit to the Shield Boomerang Infinite in Mega Man Zero One, and y'all know how much I hate that technique. <laughs> I have to keep reiterating this because I know my points will be misunderstood in a negative light. I'm not shaming anyone for using or liking that technique either. I can't stress the personal preference part enough apparently. As someone who values and respects what the game devs originally intended with the design of techniques, most exploits feel too cheesy to me. Unless there's a situation where using them will be more entertaining, which is rare but it does happen sometimes. So having one of my main points in that old video being like, SDC is the main method of attacking just makes me want to go back in time and bonk 2018 Magnus upside the freaking head and tell him we don't do that here in this house boy. It's a direct contradiction to what I aim to achieve with my guide content and to me on a personal level. If you want to use the exploits to make a flawed game more tolerable, hey, I seriously do not blame you. Guard Shell is cheesy to me, but I'm just one dude on the damn internet, alright? My words aren't the gospel, and I never treat it as such. However, we as a community need to learn how to respect different opinions instead of being fiercely combative over expressing them. To stop invalidating others' opinions because they're different. Or in my case, completely invalidate my opinion because I'm, and I quote, too good, so you're the exception and don't count. Fucked up logic, but okay. As for the old X6 tech guide, I don't know. I'll likely remake it, but at the same time, it's X6. Given the controversial nature of the game, I'm just tired of trying to cover the positive aspects of it. And frankly, I can't enjoy making content with it without having to hear an irrelevant, this game's so bad comment. Like, 
yeah, I respect the opinion, because yeah, it is a flawed game, but I literally didn't ask for it on a video that was meant to be detached from the controversy and is purely educational. If you hate X6, just don't watch videos about it. <laughs> I'll literally not lose a second of sleep if someone tells me they don't want to watch content for a game they don't like, seriously. For the folks who considered that guide useful, I'm sorry. Just for you specifically, if you want a remake, just ask. I can't promise I'll do it anytime soon, but if you want it, just let me know so I can put it on my list. Otherwise, I'm done talking about this. <laughs> Take it easy, y'all.